What did you see? Um, I was getting off that plane, for sure. But I am telling you! The plane lady. What did she see, and why did she get off the plane? Like, what was the reason that you wanted to get off so bad? I gotta ask you, how does it feel to be traveling again a little, after what you went through? A little bit of anxiety. I'm telling you, I'm getting the f off, and there's a reason why I'm getting the f off, and everyone can either believe it or they cannot believe it. I don't give two f but I am telling you right now, that mother f that mother f back there is not real. And you can sit on this plane and you can die with them or not. I'm not going to. Bye. All right, guys. So we got to follow up on this story involving the viral that MFers not real woman who has come out and is now telling her side of the story, revealing what she really saw that day. Okay. Was it an alien? Was it, I don't know, a ghost, a demon? A lot of people speculated what this woman actually saw. And now, again, she's coming forward telling the world what she actually saw. And in my opinion, I think that her explanation is completely and 100% BS. I'm going to tell you guys why. But first, I want to go ahead and play the clip on the Part of My Take podcast, in which this woman who's now going on a media tour, right? She's uh, using her marketing <laughs> background to now basically be a celebrity, a pseudo celebrity, right? Um, and again, now she's she's telling her story about what she saw. And I want to go ahead and play the clip. Take a look. Can I ask again what you saw? Yeah. You know, the reason why I probably haven't come out yet, because it's like so cringe. Um, I did not see anything. What? I mean, I think y'all knew that. Okay. <laughs> I We honestly had no idea. Yeah. You said you did. No, I did not. The Those media... You said this mother that, is not real. I said that mother is, is not, not real. These or okay, they, like apologies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I <laughs> got in a bit of an altercation. It spiraled out of control. It was not my best moment. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's actually a horrible moment. It's absolutely mortifying. So Everyone mortifying. has bad moments on planes. Yeah, but mine, you know, 450 million plus people have seen it. Yep. Like, it's that many? Jesus, that's a lot of people. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Thank God people, like, don't think it's me, though. Yeah. yeah I'm cool sort of, with that. I'm we, cool with that. I'm happy if they don't think it's me. So what you're saying is that clip that we all saw, that mother is not real, is not like you thinking that if someone is an alien. It was just the tail end of an argument. It was an expression of speech. Okay. Like, mm -hmm. So yeah. it was just like you had an argument with some guy on the plane and then as you're leaving, you're like, that mother is not real. Yeah. That's is it crazy. like an armrest? Like you guys are fighting yeah, over the armrest? Yeah, what was the fight over? <sighs> this Overhead space. This is way less crazy, by the way. You're completely vindicated. Like, because everyone obviously s said, they watched the clip and they're like, oh, what'd you see, an alien? What'd you see this? It's like, no, no, she was just saying that mother is not real. Yeah, I mean, so Daily Mail was like the first to like take it and run with it. And they're like, she saw a not real person. And I'm like, they are making me look bad shit. I yeah. Mean, and given I did, like I, I did look absolutely crazy. Mm -hmm. um, but no, I just was in my feels, needed to get off that. I was highly distressed. Um, not a good look. It was not a good situation. Yeah. yeah. So was it, it was not a good look. So was it armrest? Guy smelled bad? I was thinking no, I was seat. actually in the aisle seat and I like gave up my aisle seat because I'm, as you heard me say, I'm only 5'2". Um, my little bratty ass voice, like so sorry for that by the way so gave up i was in the middle seat and it was just there was just a really bad energy and i don't want to get into like all the details of that just as you know there's it's ongoing and yeah, yeah. it's probably not the smartest to yeah. get into that but um yeah i i feel like you're vindicated now because yeah, like it I, really was everyone thought like oh she saw something she saw something she's crazy <laughs> she's on drugs i mean like, I no I did. that's just an expression it like, that mother cool real yeah it'd be way cooler if i did yeah yeah um, and now like people dressing up as you for halloween that's crazy that's kind of that's yeah so you've seen that you heard that okay the simps on this podcast are uh, going along with this woman's obviously bs story right and the reason why it's bs is because if you watch the film of her right after the incident it is clear that this woman is distraught she is upset she really Sincerely felt like she saw something or saw something that was not real, right? 
uh, it wasn't one of those things where it just seems like she kind of made it up and she just had to get off the plane or whatever. Like she sincerely believed that that plane was not going to make it to its destination because she saw something that made her think that being on the plane was dangerous. Dangerous enough for her to get off the plane. Being dead serious, do not let that flight leave. You ready? Let's go. Flight's not gonna make it to her. And okay, oh yeah, until y'all see that flight blow up. Okay. okay. Hey ma'am, you have a boarding pass on you? Your boarding pass? I do have a boarding pass on my mother. You know exactly wow. where it is. Obviously we just got reports that you assaulted somebody by pushing the gentleman inside, okay? Wait, I assaulted someone? That's what multiple people okay, reported, so I'm, okay? I'm five so hold on, two, hold, wait, on, hold on, hold on. on. I'm 5'2", okay. 120 pounds. Okay, can you let five me finish? 5'2", 120 pounds. Can you let me finish? Yeah. So the gentleman is not wanting to press charges, okay? <laughs> okay. okay? Okay. So regardless, he's not wanting to press wait. charges. Hey, can I hurt okay. you? How tall are you? I can tell you're already having a bad day. We're not trying to make it any worse, so. Whenever you get out of here. My dad's a cop. You, dude. Okay. Well, do you have any questions for us? No, absolutely not. Okay. I'd like for you to get the out of my face. Okay. Yeah, so you see, now you heard that. Okay. Um, clearly, this woman uh, sincerely felt like she saw something. Okay. Uh, to the point where she claimed that the plane is not going to make it to its destination. Right. So I get, I'm not buying this explanation from her that she didn't see anything and it was just you know, some, it was weird vibes, oh, I can't get into the details, whatever, right? She was actually asked um, a little bit after that, like a couple weeks or a month or so after that, by TN, TMZ in regards to what she saw, and she couldn't give an explanation then. Listen, I mean, I got to ask you, how does it feel to be traveling again? Great. You know, in the airport again a little, after what you went through? A little bit of anxiety. But, uh, it's been good. But a lot of people are curious what exactly you saw because because you know you you alluded to what you saw but like we just want to know like you know what yeah. what did you see um i mean thanks for asking that um but i have been told i cannot comment on it right now i see i see I'm sorry. what was the reason that you wanted to get off so bad um Again, can't speak on that right now, but um, I was distressed and I was getting off the plane no matter what. I just probably didn't need to make the scene that I made. Right, um, right, right. But I was getting off that plane for sure. Right. And you said. Yeah. So again, when she did that interview, uh, she claims that, well, I can't tell you right now, right? As if she's under some type of secret orders or this is some type of sensitive situation where she can't just tell us what did you see or what did you think? that you saw. I think what actually happened here, right? What what's actually going on? Because again, I've been I've been kind of following this story loosely. I've been following this this person loosely. She's trying to basically take advantage of this situation now to gain clout, right? To be a pseudo famous person, right? To financially benefit from it. And I I, I got a gut feeling in regards to where this woman is headed, okay? With her 15 minutes of fame, okay? Uh, I'm going to get there, but I want to explain what I think happened, right? I personally think that um, she was on psychedelics, right? I think that she was tripping, okay? And when you trip, it makes you do all types of crazy things. It makes you see things that are not there. And I think that's what happened. Like, for example, check out this story right here uh, involving this pilot that basically went cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs um trying to take over a plane and crash it because he got on the plane after taking psychedelics take a look we turn now to the pilot who authorities say tried to crash a passenger plane over the u.s tonight new details of the life and death struggle inside that cockpit and what that pilot now says he took before that flight he's now charged with 83 counts of attempted murder here's Gio Benitez. Tonight, Alaska Airlines pilot Joseph David Emerson looking emotional, appearing before a judge late today to face attempted murder charges right. for trying to crash a passenger jet. Morning, enter not guilty plea on all counts. As we learned, he allegedly told investigators he had taken psychedelic mushrooms for the first time some 48 hours before the incident and thought he was having a nervous breakdown after going without sleep for 40 hours. 
Authorities say Emerson was off duty hitching a ride in the cockpit's jump seat Sunday. The on duty pilots telling police Emerson engaged in casual conversation. But then mid flight, he threw his headset across the cockpit and announced, I am not okay. Then reaching up and grabbing the red fire handles and pulling them down. A pilot physically engaged with Emerson for 25 to 30 seconds. Had Emerson pulled the handles all the way down, the plane would have turned into a glider within seconds. Emerson calming down and exiting the cockpit, allegedly telling a flight attendant, you need to cuff me right now or it's going to be bad. Emerson, a father with an unblemished flying history, telling police he struggled with depression and a friend recently passed away. And it was his first time taking mushrooms. And David Emerson is also facing a federal charge of interfering with a flight crew, along with those 83 counts of attempted murder. David. Gio Benita is back with us on this story again tonight. Thank you, Gio. Yeah, so you've seen that, you heard that. Okay, this is an example of a story of somebody getting on a plane, in this case, a pilot, after taking psychedelics. Okay, he was tripping, right? Losing his mind, literally. Uh, and it made him do something crazy, right? Like try to crash the, the plane and kill everybody on the plane. Um, and in my opinion, that type of behavior is consistent with the type of behavior that we saw from this woman on the plane, where she claims that the person that she was pointing at or that she had an argument with or whatever was not real. Clearly, she thought in her head, she was convinced that she saw something that the plane was going down. And I'm convinced that that's what happened, right? She was... She took psychedelics before getting on a plane and she had a bad trip, right? That's what, that's what happened. Okay. And I think that she needed time to come up with some explanation for why she did what she did. And of course she couldn't come out here and say, well, yeah, I was tripping, right? I had, I was on psychedelics and that made me do that, right? Of course she, she wouldn't come out here to say it. So that's why, you know, when asked about it, she really couldn't give a straight answer in regards to why she did it. And that's why she's still kind of guarded about the whole situation because she knows that she wasn't in the right state of mind. I truly do believe that, right? I 100% 100 believe that that's what's going on here. I'm, I'm almost convinced just based off the completely BS answer that she gave in that podcast interview with part of my take, okay? Because... You know, you don't just get up and do something like that because uh, you have an argument or, you, you know, you you are feeling bad vibes or whatever, right? Bad vibes is code name for I was having a bad trip, right? I was tripping and uh, it wasn't going well and, and I lost it, right? That That's what happened, in my opinion. Now, where do I think this is going? This woman is having her 15 minutes of fame. You know, you got people that are dressing up like her for Halloween, uh, I think that she's taking a one way trip to a future OnlyFans career, right? I really do think that that's what's happening here, right? I, I think that this eventually, once her fame almost dries out, once this kind of goes away, because it kind of will, right? I mean, nobody, you know, outside of this, nobody, she's, a, I don't know if she has any real talents, right? I think that she's going to try to, um, basically spin this into some some type of only fans thing right again I, i'm not saying exactly what i think she's going to be doing on only fans but i think that that's what this is headed right that's what this is headed and um again she's trying to now you know take advantage of the situation and you know to, to go on these podcast tours and to talk about the situation to basically a lot of people and try to act like she's not a crazy lady right that was you know tripping you know, on the plane, right? But, you know, in my opinion, I'm not buying the BS, okay? I'm pretty convinced I've, I've figured out what kind of happened in that situation. And, um, yeah, right? You can't fool me. You might be able to fool some simps, but I'm not the simp that you can fool, right? So, hey, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.